Hello one and all, welcome to another online video by Einstein Academy. In this video, we'll be looking at learning outcome C from the topic of atomic structure from the JCH2 chemistry syllabus. Learning outcome C says that candidates should be able to describe the distribution of mass and charges within an atom. So to begin with, we would like to talk about the model of an atom. The model of an atom is such that an atom consists of a nucleus at the center, which is made up of only protons and neutrons. The electrons, on the other hand, the third subatomic particle, revolves freely around the nucleus. Pictorially, we can have this view of the atom. We have the nucleus right in the middle, or the electrons revolve freely about the nucleus. We would like to talk about the size of the nucleus as compared to the size of the entire atom. So the average size of the atomic nucleus is very small, on the order of about 10 to the power of minus 15 meters. And that is the distance between the center of the atom to basically the radius of the entire nucleus. Compared to the size of the atom, the atom is much, much bigger, 10 to the power of minus 10 meters, which is about 10 to the five times bigger than the distance between the center to the radius of the nucleus. So the center to the radius of the nucleus is about 10 to the power of minus 15 meters, while the, radi the size of the atom is much bigger and the center to the orbit of the electron, the valence electron, so to speak, is about on the order of 10 to the power minus 10 meters. Consequently, since we know that the mass of the neutron and the proton is much, much bigger than the mass of the electron, in fact, we can treat the mass of the electron to be negligible. We can say that majority of the mass is contained in a very, very small region of space at the center at the nucleus of the atom. So almost all the mass of the atom is contained in the nucleus in a very small region of space. Since the mass of the electron is almost negligible compared to the mass of the protons and neutrons. On to charges. Since we know that the proton is positively charged while the electrons are negatively charged, positive charges due to the protons are again contained in a very small region of place or space in the nucleus of the atom while the negative charges due to the electrons revolve freely around the nucleus. So this is on the distribution of charges. And with these two slides, students should now be able to describe the distribution of mass and charges within an atom. Hope you like this short video as we discuss how learning outcome C from the topic of atomic structure from the JCH2 chemistry syllabus. If you like the video, hit the like and subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video for learning outcome D.